What's going on guys? I am back here today. As you can see by the title, I am doing a review on some small game broadheads. Um, if you want to see a shooting test for these broadheads, um, it'll be up here or over here if it's posted. If not, it won't be there. Um, come back to this video if you want to see if it's posted or not. So yeah, let's get right into this. First off, I'm going to start off with the most common thing ever. Just a field tip. Um, you could use this to hunt anything. It's just really good. It'll penetrate really deep and really cheap. I think you can get like, I got mine, five of them for like six bucks. Five of them for four bucks, I don't know. They're pretty cheap, that's all I know. So... If you don't want to do that and you want to do some more damage, you can get these little things right there. If I don't drop it. Right there. That's what they look like. And they're just little things that slide on the back of your, uh, any broad, you could use it on any type of broadhead, anything, and it just slides right on the back. And it does a lot more damage, almost acts like a large game broadhead um, and they'll work on any broadhead you can put them on a judo point if you wanted but yeah I think they're like six bucks for like let's see how many I have here for like five of them um, then you got your Allen judo point What this is going to do is when there's weeds, uh, like tall grasses, let's say you're hunting rabbits, this will hit that grass and it'll stop and it'll make your arrow flip twice and it'll land and you'll never lose your arrow. I'm not going to guarantee you'll never lose your arrow, but I've never lost one yet. So I do recommend these. This is the Allen brand version. Uh, they're a little bit cheaper. You get three of them for eight bucks. And then you got your Zwicky brand. Now Zwicky, I think, is the brand that actually came out with these. They have a four-pronged version. That was a five-pronged version. So Zwicky's, theirs are a little bit more hefty. Uh, their prongs won't break as easily. And then that right there is going to do more damage, and it'll go through bone easier than that blunt tip. And you get two of these for like $12, $13. But they last longer, so it's just whether you want to take it or not. It does the same thing. It's just whether you want to spend more money, get one that's going to last longer. If you just know you're going to lose them all the time, then get the cheaper one, you know. So, on to my last one. I'm pretty sure everyone's seen these before. It's just a plastic tip. <clears throat> plastic tip. Good for hunting about any, just about anything. It does a lot of blunt force damage. And the good thing about these, they're super cheap. Like you, I think you can get like five of them for a couple dollars. That, really cheap. And then you can drill holes in them, put wire in them, and you can make like a uh, mesh uh, thing. So with birds, like if they're flying, one of the pieces of wire will hit the wing and it won't be able to fly, break its wing. Works pretty good. Really easy to modify. You could put anything on them. Uh, yeah. So, what I recommend to you guys is two things. Because you, if you're hunting big or small game, like let's say you, maybe you're hunting coyotes. It's weird to hunt coyotes with a bow, I know that. You don't want something like this that does blunt force damage. Because that's not going to do any damage to a coyote. Because a coyote, you need to hit its vitals. You need to hit it in an artery, in the heart, the lungs. You need to hit it somewhere where it's going to matter. So if I was doing that, I would recommend either a normal broadhead for a large game or a small game broadhead with one of these on it because it's going to do a lot of piercing damage and it's going to tear up a lot of blood vessels in there. Do a lot of damage to the animal. But if you're just hunting rabbits and birds and squirrels, grouse, 
even turkeys because the, they can be taken out easier. I'd recommend one of these two uh, judo points. Uh, personally, I recommend this one. You spend a little bit more money, you get higher quality, lasts longer. These don't bend as easy and they won't break as easy. Or you could just buy three of these and then you're good. So yeah guys, I hope you did enjoy that video. It's pretty brief. But if you want to see a review on this video, again, back in the video, it'll be up here or up here. Um, overall, they're all good broadheads. You just need to find which one you like best, which one you're not going to lose, which one you're going to get the most kills with. So you need to practice, you need to target practice. And the thing I recommend with these is stump shooting. Um, stump shooting, or whatever they call it. You just go out in the middle of the woods, you shoot from stump to stump, and you just, these will stick into the stumps, and you just go from stump to stump to stump, and you see which one you like better, see which one works best in your bow. So yeah guys, I hope you did enjoy this video. Um, I'll get all of the broadheads and things down in the description below. If they aren't there, look up judo points or I don't know what this is. It'll probably be in the description below. So yeah, guys, hope you did enjoy that video. If you did, please leave a big thumbs up. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I already said like. See you later. Peace.